We are running on ordinary main line with a maximum permitted speed of 100 miles an hour. Approaching an 80 miles an hour speed restriction for curves. At full braking distance, the capped display changes to 80. The audible warning sounds and the driver acknowledges it. He then starts braking towards the commencement of the 80 miles an hour restriction. Coming down steadily in speed. As the train reaches the 80 miles an hour cutout sign, the start of speed restriction light comes up briefly to tell the driver he has reached the restriction. This particular restriction is one and three quarter miles long. The train runs through it at a steady 80 miles an hour. gets the normal AWS indications for signals. restriction, the line speed steps up to 100 miles an hour. The display changes, there is a short audible advice that it has done so, but the driver is not required to acknowledge and can now accelerate. approaching a 75 miles an hour restriction through a station where there is a possibility of being diverted from the fitted route. The display changes to 75 at breaking distance from the start of the restriction. Audible warning, which the driver has to acknowledge. He now starts braking from line speed down towards 75. On the approach, the J indication appears to indicate there is a facing junction at which he could be diverted. The green signal aspects show that the train is to continue on the fitted route for which the speed of 75 applies, now approaching the start of the 75 restriction. Passing the cutout sign, the start of speed restriction light comes on to tell the driver he's arrived, and the train runs through the restriction at 75. Restriction ends a quarter of a mile beyond the station platform, and the maximum permitted speed goes up to 100. At the cutout sign, the display changes to 100 with a short audible advice. No acknowledgement is required, and the driver now accelerates. open main line, but there's a goods loop ahead onto which we could be diverted. The signal aspects show we're not going to be diverted, but the J indication is shown in advance to indicate that the train is approaching a facing junction.
facing points into the loop. Having passed over them, the J disappears, leaving the 100 displayed. a double yellow aspect. The driver acknowledges the normal AWS warning and commences to brake in anticipation of a red signal. This does not affect the capped display in any way, which still shows 100. as the train approaches the single yellow. After passing the signal, the J indication appears for facing connections beyond the next signal. This next junction signal is red. Approaching the junction signal, it changes to yellow with the number 2 position route indicator illuminated. The driver now knows that the train is being diverted through a facing connection. He also knows from his route knowledge that the permitted speed through this connection is 40 miles an hour. At this time, the display is showing J100. Coming up to the facing points. Because we're going onto an unfitted route, the display disappears and the audible warning sounds. The driver acknowledges this and drives at the conventional speed, in this case 40 miles an hour, until the display is restored when the train gets back onto the fitted route. back onto the fitted route. Thereupon, the driver gets his display back, showing the maximum permitted speed of 100, with an audible advice which needs no acknowledgement. approaching a 30 miles an hour permanent speed restriction for which there is an illuminated warning indicator with AWS magnet. The display therefore changes from 100 to 30 with audible warning and the driver needs to acknowledge the change. illuminated warning indicator, which is acknowledged on the AWS reset button. The driver is now getting restrictive aspects as he breaks towards the 30 miles an hour permanent speed restriction.
approaching a facing junction at which we could be diverted. The J indication comes up on his display. down to the 30 restriction. Coming up now to the commencement of the 30 miles an hour restriction, there's the cutout sign, and now the start of speed restriction light appears. now approaching the end of the fitted route, which then leads through a major intermediate station with a severe speed restriction on all routes. At this point, the display goes blank. The driver acknowledges the audible warning and now continues to drive his train in accordance with conventional speed restrictions. Between London and Glasgow, on the West Coast Main Line, there are over 50 permanent speed restrictions varying between 20 and 90 miles an hour. They apply to all conventional trains. Line-side cutout signs mark the start of every permanently restricted section. But it is the driver's responsibility to know their position and value, and to adjust his line speed accordingly. For the new generation of advanced passenger trains, which have been designed to negotiate curves at speeds roughly 30% higher than conventional trains, a separate series of higher speed restrictions have been agreed. To avoid drivers having to learn both sets of speed information, a new system for advising them of APT speed limits has been devised. The system is known as CAPT, Control Advanced Passenger Train. Instead of the normal line-side cutout signs, the permissible APT line speed along the route will appear, in miles per hour, inside the driver's cab. The source of this information is a simple electronic device known as a transponder. It consists of a miniature crystal-set type radio receiver and transmitter, surrounded by a loop aerial. The whole unit is sealed into a protective case and bolted onto the track. On all APT routes, transponders are fitted at intervals of not more than one kilometre. On board each train is a black box containing a radio transmitter and receiver, and a mini computer or processor. The transmitter receiver is connected to an aerial beneath the train and attached to the bogey. The train continuously transmits a radio frequency signal through the aerial and onto the track. Whenever the train passes over a transponder, this is what happens. Radio signals from the train are received by the transponder and used to drive its transmitter. This transmits a coded message built into the transponder, giving notice of the permitted line speed, or indication of any approaching facing junction. The message is available constantly, but only transmitted to the train for as long as the transponder receives radio frequency power. All messages are instantly decoded and checked by the processor, and the relevant information is then displayed to the driver in the cab. On uncomplicated track with a constant speed restriction, up to 125 miles an hour for APTs, the system maintains a constant speed display. To ensure that all components are working correctly, transponders coded with the speed limit, are placed at intervals of not more than one kilometre. These serve as a refresher in case some fault has developed. If the train-borne equipment fails to detect a transponder within a kilometre of the previous one, an audible warning is given and the system is switched off. The driver must then reduce speed to the non-APT limits until the system is restored to normal working. 
The system was designed and developed at the Railway Technical Centre in Derby and has been very thoroughly tested under all types of operating conditions. It will be fitted to all advanced passenger trains as a driver aid. The normal AWS will also be provided. The permissible line speed will be displayed in digital form alongside the speedometer. The driver will be warned of any approaching speed restriction by an audible signal which he must acknowledge by pressing the capped cancel button, similar to but separate from the AWS. When passing out of a permanent speed restriction he will be given a brief audible advice which requires no acknowledgement. On open track, where the maximum permissible speed is 125 miles per hour for APTs, the system maintains a constant speed display. At the braking distance before a permanent speed restriction, the display will change to the lower speed value, and the audible warning is given. Unless the driver acknowledges this by pressing the cancel button, the brakes will be applied automatically. After he has acknowledged, he must reduce speed normally. As the train enters the restricted section, a commencement transponder will cause the start of speed restriction sign to light up. At the end of the restricted section, a further transponder causes the display to change to the new speed and gives a brief audible advice to the driver. No acknowledgement is required. On the approach to a simple diverging junction, the driver is shown the speed applying to the capped fitted route preceded by the letter J. The line side signals will tell him whether he's taking the diverging route. If he is not, the system will detect the transponder immediately beyond the junction, and the letter J will disappear, leaving the speed display only. If the train is being diverted to an unfitted route, he will get the J indication as before, and be guided by the signals and his knowledge of the speed through the junction. Immediately beyond the junction, on the unfitted route, the system will switch itself off. These are the broad principles of the driver aid system that will be fitted to all APTs. In the second part of this film, we're going to join the driver of an EMU which has been fitted with the system for test purposes, operating at normal line speeds.